Hey now, Data Hedge Unite. It's that time of the month. We've got the market update for Jacksonville, specifically Duval, St. John's County, single family homes, Mike Rolowitz, 904 Home Guide team here. Going to break down the data like we always do with the help of our friends at NEFAR and the data that I'll be referencing here, actually here. So first thing we always look at, what's our median price doing? Sitting right here. We're just flat. So we're about flat to last year. We're down just fractionally from September. It's about 390 is that median price point. Year to date, our median price point is up about 5%. Our average price point up over 7%. Now that's for the whole MLS. So it includes a couple other counties. The average is a little bit higher because we've had some record setting sales along the ocean in Ponte Vedra Beach specifically this year. I think the most recent was 19 million. So prices continue to hold steady. And how is that when closed sales are falling and interest rates are rising? I think it's twofold. Part of it is still we're a big net migration market, more people coming than leaving, as well as a lot of cash sales still happening in our market. Almost a third of the homes are sold cash. Actually, Redfin did a study for the month of September. Mind you, we're looking at October, but in September, we were number three in the country for the percentage of homes that sold for cash. I think it was over 41% or maybe even 49%. So what is happening though, are the listings that are selling, uh, let's see, reference here, 74% of the homes that sold in October were on the market less than two months. And our stale listings, those that we would consider over 60 days old, are now 47% of our active listings, up from about 37% last month. What that's telling me, what the market is saying, appropriately priced homes for their conditions are selling. So sellers, if you've got a home that's been sitting a while, it's likely the price or the price for the condition of the home. Inventory continues to rise. Our median days on market is also rising. We're now sitting at 40 days. Uh, that's up quite a bit from this time last year and month to month it's been rising and that's because inventory has been rising. Part of this also is just seasonality. We've discussed this coming into the fall, what we call the fall fall. Lower buyer demand, some of that was rate driven earlier in the month and late October, interest rates were flirting with 8%. We got a little relief this week with a good inflation report. Treasury bond yields drop. Mortgage rates are now sitting at 7.4 for a 30 year. That was again, close to eight or a little bit over it just earlier this month and the later part of October. So the buyers that are in the market though, they're serious. They are needs based and homes are still selling. Pending sales actually ticked up just a bit last month, even though closed sales were down. So more homes are starting to go under contract. That all important months of inventory metric, we're sitting at three and a half months right now. Still technically a seller's market, but right on the cusp of becoming balanced, which is defined as four to six months of inventory. I think last month we mentioned we've got a seller's market statistically that's acting like a buyer's market and that's still happening more buyers are looking for concessions for rate buy downs closing cost assistance concessions towards allowances to replace carpets or flooring or other dated finishes in some of the homes especially those that have been sitting a while so what we expect the rest of the year probably stay about steady state prices will probably stay about where they are What's going to unleash prices to rise again? Part of that will be the seasonality in the spring, which typically happens. Prices in our market rise. If that's coupled with a drop in interest rates, buckle up because it will get wild. And buyer demand, those that are still holding that pause button are going to come off it and things will go crazy. We'll see you in December.